Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Do I look a little tanner today? I feel like I totally look more tan today. I mean, I did self-tan with James Reed tanning at QVC and that was amazing. Guys, if you need a self-tanner and you don't know what to use, I totally recommend James Reed tanning because I love it. I am so excited for today's video because I am trying out something that is very similar to my lovely Revlon One Step Hair Dryer Volumizer. So if you've been subscribed to my YouTube channel for a while now, you probably know, well maybe not even for a while because I talk about this in almost like every video. I love my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Like literally that is my favorite, favorite blow dryer because it gets my hair so sleek, so smooth, so quickly so i found something very similar to that and we're gonna try it out today this is gonna be a first impressions right here in my channel i haven't opened this yet and i'm talking about this calista blow dryer oh my god i am so excited to try this out because calista is such a good brand like it is a really really nice quality brand i've heard really good things about their hair tools and i've seen them on qvc i bought this from qvc so anyways this is like a blow dryer as you can see it looks like the revlon one but this one seems a little bit smaller and it brings four different attachments so if you buy this on qvc.com it is 60 dollars, and you can do easy payments why do i sound like a qvc host right now like i'm not <laughs> i swear this is not sponsored or anything but i'm just telling you guys that you got the deals at qvc and you can pay it monthly you don't have to pay it all at one shot but the original price of this is a hundred dollars so it is a little bit pricier than my revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer that is only 60 dollars but i mean i got this for 60 dollars so so anyways let's open this up because i can't wait to try this out my hair is damp it's not super super wet um but i just feel like my hair blows out a lot better when it is mostly wet so let's open this up Ooh. Ooh, it brings a little bag i love that it brings a little bag that is cute this is really cute for traveling though i love it <gasps> no way i'm i'm so excited because no way it brings two clips and not just any type of clips these are some good clips these are like the alligator clips i think that's what they call them this is the, like just like the black one that I always use that I'm obsessed with. These are great and they grab a lot of hair. So I love that it brings two clips and they're blue. Super cute. Okay, so I mean, how cool is this? This is cool. This is cool because this is really good for traveling. So this is the first attachment. Pretty cool. I probably won't use this that much. This is like more for like volume and stuff. Maybe I'll use it, but... I feel like this is really good for like people with really 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 short hair this again i probably won't use this because you guys already know i don't like paddle brushes for blowing out my hair it just doesn't work for me i like the round brush so i mean the main reason why i bought this was for the round brush and that's okay if you don't use all the attachments you know i mean it's just good that it has so many different options and you can just switch it up and use whatever you want so this is the concentrator pretty cool and then my favorite part that i'm so excited about is this so the bristles feel a little bit rough but not as rough as the other revlon brush that i tested out that is very similar to this one that i gave to my grandma because she has really short hair and she actually really likes it but this one i'm interested in seeing how it's gonna blow out my hair so here's the actual blow dryer oh my god i love this color this color is so cute it has a swivel cord okay okay it has three different heat settings so cool warm and hot you guys already know i'm gonna go all the way up to hot <laughs> and then it has um two different speeds so i guess low and high with the regular blow dryer my hair can take up to an hour <laughs> to you know for me to blow out my hair but with my revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer it takes me from 35 to 40 minutes so let's time this and see how long it's going to take me to blow out my hair with this this is smaller though the brush is smaller so it probably will take me a little bit longer but i don't know i haven't used this yet so we're gonna see 
how this works. That's in low, and then this is gonna be high. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so I am pretty impressed. Do you guys see that? I know that's a very small section. I don't know if you can see that shine. I feel like that was very, very quick. Like this blow dryer is so nice. This blow dryer is so strong that it gives you such a nice and smooth and fast blow out like already i am loving this like my hair looks so sleek so one thing that i have to mention though because you guys know i am very honest with my reviews <laughs> um i did feel like this pulled my hair a little bit more than the revlon brush it really wasn't that bad i mean the other revlon smaller brush that i gave to my grandma that one <laughs> did pull my hair so 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 much but this one, the bristles are very similar, but these are more gentle, I feel. And they don't really pull my hair that much. Like, yeah, I did see like maybe like a hair or two, but it really isn't that bad. So I am actually really, really liking this. So I'm going to finish this side and I'll be right back and I'm going to time it. I'm going to start timing it now. This literally only took me like two minutes. So if you want to add two minutes to the final time, then you can do that. But I'm just going to start timing it. And I'll be right back with this side. okay guys i don't even want to exaggerate i don't i don't want to sound like i'm exaggerating but come on like look at this shine do you guys see that my hair looks insane i love this i really really love this so far my hair looks so healthy like do you guys see that it looks so shiny the ends look really really nice i love how this brush is small i kind of like that because you would think that because it's small it's gonna take you a lot longer to blow out your hair but no it doesn't it only took me about 17 minutes to do this side look i timed it and it only took me about 17 minutes to do one side so that means it's only going to take me maybe like 40 minutes to blow out my hair which is not bad at all at least for me that is great that is not bad at all it's going to get loud but i'm just going to show you guys what i do with the smaller brush i kind of like to form my ends in a very nice way And then it kind of like just creates like this little, do you see that? Kind of like a little wave, but like very nice. It looks very, very nice. Like, do you see that? Do you see that? Can you guys like see that? Like, oh my God. So I'm going to do this side now and I'll be right back with the final look and my final thoughts. Okay guys, so here's the final look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. 
I actually really like how my hair turns out. It looks very sleek, very smooth. Like, I don't even need to use a flat iron after this. Like, my hair looks very nice. I really, really like it. It looks very shiny. It looks very, like, it has, like, a little bit of volume, like, a little bit of bounce. And I just really, really like this. My pros, I think the price is totally worth it if you're going to buy it at QVC for 60 bucks. That is not bad at all. But, I mean, still $100 isn't bad, but $60 is, like, really, really nice. I also really love the blow dryer. It is so strong. Like, this feels like a really good quality blow dryer. Like, wow it didn't take me that long to blow out my hair it took me 42 minutes i do have somewhat textured hair and curly hair and it is a little bit long and i do have a lot of hair so i mean 42 minutes isn't bad i do feel like with time and as i get the hang of it i will do it a lot quicker because with my revlon brush in the beginning it used to take me maybe like 38 minutes now it takes me sometimes just like 30 minutes so i'm sure that if i use this a lot and if i practice a lot i can probably do my hair in about 35 minutes which is not bad at all so my only con that i have is that i do feel like it does pull your hair a little bit so i would totally recommend detangling your hair before using this if you detangle your hair, you should be just fine. But if you don't, and if you decide to detangle your hair with this when you blow it out, then you will pull your hair. Okay, guys, that is it for today's video. I totally recommend this. I really, really like this. I will be using this again and again and again. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I want to know. Let me know in the comments down below. You guys think this is good? Did you like my final look? Do you guys think it's worth the money? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. I would really, really appreciate that. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. And if you liked this video, then I'm sure you're going to like these videos as well. So make sure you go ahead and check out those videos. Bye, guys. Love you.